So, uh, my name is Ad Umar Adam Hamza, the first author of this paper on isolation of common nosocomial pathogens from get pass used in Amin Kano Teaching Hospital and Bioreinvasti Kano, Nigeria. And this is an electronic presentation in the journal. And here are the details of the journal and detail of the publication of the paper. And here is the DOI. Then here is the first page of the paper as presented in the journal. As presented in the Journal of International Journal of Science and Research. So and as you all know, nosocomial pathogens are those pathogens capable of causing nosocomial infection. And nosocomial infection are the infections that were carried in the hospital. And they happen to be contacted in the hospital, not being the best reason of taking the person to the hospital. The aim of this research is to isolate common nosocomial pathogens from get past, if at all there is. And it is carried out in Amini Kano Teaching Hospital, Nigeria. And it is achieved through the following objectives. One, identifying the bacteria contamination level of the get pass used in the hospital and comparing it with non-hospital sources. Then the material used are the get pass it on that is swapped using swap stick which is sterile swab stick. And the sampling site is Amini Kanu Teaching Hospital, uh, Zaria Road, Taruni Local Government Kano State, and Bayer University Kano Gorza Road, Gwari Local Government in Kano State. And the bacteriological procedure are used are the normal swabbing, followed by inoculation, then followed by uh, incubation, then gram staining to differentiate the positive and negative gram reaction then subculture on emb manitols salt agar and salmonella shigella agar and mokonki then incubated followed by biochemical test then the result out of all the hundred sample is only 56 that was found to be positive of bacterial contamination and in this research four tables were given below a table of contamination level according to sample site a table of contamination level according to handlers a table of contamination based on uh, uh, based on the gram positive gram standard reaction then a table of the biochemical done here is table one table of contamination level of the get pass according to sampling site here is the statistical calculation which shows no significant difference using t tests assuming covariance. Then here is the result of contamination level based on handlers. And as you can see, the handlers give as uh, gives uh, a result of this. Then here is the biochemical test result. That is then table, table four is the table of contamination according to gram standard reaction. Then the discussion, the get pass used in hospital short for the eight percent contamination, which is invariance with the studies carried out on a mobile phone at Aiba Kwagi State University Teaching Hospital with 96 percent contamination. But it is compared compatibly with the finding on mobile phone at Kerman University Teaching Hospital, Iran, and the research carried out in Bio University. Uh, in at Ahmadu Bello University Teaching Hospital, Kaduna Zaria. And this may be as a result of lack of awareness and low hygiene standard. But as we all know, Amin Kano Teaching Hospital was the best hospital in Kano State and Nigeria at large when it comes to awareness and hygiene standard. And they just recently switched to using plastic get pass from paper one. From table one, gram negative rod with 16% happened to be the group with highest number of affairs. 
This is because the family Enterobacteria are the major constituent of normal bacterial contaminant associated with human. Then the genera Staphylococcus aureus, then Pseudomonas aeruginosa with E. coli, then E. coli with second to the highest, compared comfortably with that of that research of Hamwell et al. carried out in 2014 reported from his study. Then Staphylococcus aureus, Pseudomonas, E. coli are all major contaminants that are commonest nosocomial pathogens with human. Then Staphylococcus aureus, a normal skin flora, is medic of medical importance because it's associated with wound and bumps. E. coli are fecal contaminants and the gram negative rod are potential bacterial pathogens. Then from table 2, according to handlers of the get, get pass, AKTH drivers have the highest numbers of sample collected being with more of gram negative rot, normal flora, and less other nosocomial pathogens, followed by healthcare workers having less count due to strict adherence to the hospital ethics, then followed by the patient being the normal source of the nosocomial pathogen with highest pseudomonas, pseudomonas species associated with wound and burnt. This is probably because the patients are the source of contaminant. The last as well as the least group were the group of others that are neither the patient nor the visitors, but only the, the visitors. They are having the last count and least count of all the species isolated with zero count of pseudomonas aeruginosa because they are not wounded. Then conclusion, the study revealed that get pass used in hospital and non-hospital sources are heavily contaminated with bacterial aden including commonest nosocomial pathogens then here are recommendations hospital centers should be sanitizing to overcome spread of nosocomial pathogens and the research should be done in nigerian hospital due to the cases reported in nigerian hospital and they recommended that care and the concern should be given more priority to antimicrobial resistance because these nosocomial pathogens are mainly resistant to nosocomial or uh, to most of the drugs. Here are my acknowledgement to my supervisor, Dr. Vinta Muhammad Aminu, which is one of the authors of this paper, and to the management of Bayero University Kano and Aminu Kano Teaching Hospital Nigeria for the support and motivation. Then, gratitude to Mewari University Kano, where I am doing my master's now, and Dr. Franab Kumar from lovely professional for his health and opportunity given to me. Thank you all and God bless. Here are the references, a lot of references, but managed to put only those